guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Titlar and we are back in Football Manager 24 with the Youth Talent Brewery here and Sport Lisboa Benfica. And now going into the Champions League match and it's against Manchester City in the Etihad at Manchester. It's going to be tough, of course it is. In the meantime, between the last game which was against Estrela Amadora and this Manchester City, we got good wins but a very, very surprising uh, defeat here, even with a man up and using our best team, we ended up not winning to Portimonense, a, a game that we got FM a lot. I think it's my be biggest FM game ever. Look at this, 40 shots, 17 on target, 4.25 XG and not a single goal. <laughs> with 70% of possession. Yeah, Nakamura was the, the man of the match, of course, their goalkeeper. So, a great victory for Portimonense, which put us in a little bit of a fight here with Porto. Still a game down and two points uh, up in, the, in the, the league table. So, if we get that game and win it, we should have a five-point lead, so still a healthy lead, those. But now, we are going to face Manchester City for the Champions League. We are in seventh. Let's see what we can do. Ch Manchester City is where here? Exactly here. Okay, so they want the win, of course. And we are going to play away from home. So this is going to be very hard. So let's start by dropping our wingbacks and putting balance and even putting slow pace down yeah i think that's the plan we are going to do this with our best team available telezovsky cannot play so i think i will put zephyrin instead of him come on take him off thank you where are you zephyrin here you are Okay, Zafrin is going to be on the bench. And I think we are set. Let's see what we can do. It's going to be very tough. Very tough indeed. But let's hope we can do a good good things here. Oof. We are in a bad moment in terms of club atmosphere and stuff. Because we've got some issues with guys wanting to leave. Other guys wanting more play time. So, it's not ideal to get such a strong team and away from home. Ederson, Rico Luis, Ruben Dias, Roger Ibanez, Callum Doyle, Rodri, Bernard Silva, Mateus Nunes, Nicolas Gonzalez, Phil Foden and Julian Alvarez. We don't have Holland here. Oh, probably they sold Holland? Question mark. Is Holland injured? We don't know. Okay. Whew. Take a good deep breath, boys. And let's try to get a good result here. Okay. First minute and Manchester City is coming with full force. With two shots already. Both off target. But yeah, they are coming full force. So let's encourage the lads. They all liked it. If we can get away with a draw, I would be happy to be honest with you. Not gonna lie. That would be fantastic. Not fantastic, but great. Fantastic, of course, is always a, a win. We are not playing badly in terms of possession. We have more possession than them. We still lacking shots on target or even off target well no real attacks in here to be honest and i'm keeping the same team for the time being so let's pump fists and yep okay they all like it it's great and kovacevic for Nicol nicolas gonzalez okay let's encourage the boys again 
And here they come. Not liking to see highlights from them, of course, because we know Trubin is a danger. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Not hitting, hitting the target is always nice to see. Okay, let's do our first substitutions. And I see that Andres Shellerup and Gonzalo Moreira are not having the biggest of games. So let's replace them both. Okay, like so. Let's continue. We'll get some fresh legs onto the pitch. Let's encourage the boys again. Here, corner to us. Don't lose the ball and allow a, a dangerous counter. Nice pass. What a goal by Matteo Moran! What a goal! Putting us in the lead here in Etihad. So let's do a couple more substitution. And let's put Greenwood, an Englishman, against Englishmen. And that's it for now. I'm going to fall back a little bit. Like, yeah, and yeah, okay, all good here. Good man, good, good, good. What a strike by Morin. Very good, oof, and here comes Manchester, right from the kickoff of that goal. Come on, guys. Defend! Oof, lucky there. After that unlucky Portimonense game, I think we are being very lucky today, to be honest. Not as lucky as Portimonense, of course, but lucky. He's in the offside. He's in the offside. The referee is waving his arm. I think Foden was offside there or Alvarez no it wasn't Alvarez okay so they scored we are keeping losing time why not and let's do a couple more substitutions and Ba is struggling with tiredness and let's put Toprak instead of João Rego Let's encourage the boys. And let's waste time now. Six minutes. A very time. Okay. We got a draw. We could have the win, but honestly, I think the draw is a deserved result for both of them. Even if we did lose, I think it was deserved that Manchester would win this game. But, okay, the draw is not, not bad at all. We take the draw. Well done, lads. Which puts us in where in terms of table? Sixth place. Okay, not bad. Still in the automatic qualifying. And next game. It's going to be against Roma for the Champions League again and again away. And then we are facing Braga in our home ground. In the meantime, we'll play Maritim away. So I'm going to do that game off camera. And I'll be back for the Roma match preview. And here we are in the preview against Ayres Roma in Rome. It's going to be very tough to deal with Rome in away game. And, of course, we got the Maritim game in the meantime, where we blew them out of the water by 3-0. 
So securing still the first place in this Portuguese league. As we can see, two points ahead of Porto, but with a game at hand, which is good. So let's face now Mr. Roma and then face Braga to end this episode. But let's focus on Roma, where I'm going to use my usual strategy. But I did tweak a little bit my team. I think Bergval is now a better player than João Neves. And he's playing very well. I think Mora has, uh, has grown a lot. So I think we'll start using him here on the left side, using a left footed, uh, right side, using a left footed on the right side here to cut inside and he's grown very well very speedy boy very good on physical attributes he's becoming a very good on the mental side and is still developing his technical and finally we can use mr moreira on his preferred side here at the left keeping shadarup who is playing good to be honest he's been playing very well but Shalarup has a problem that he doesn't like big matches. So he's a good bench. He's a truly fantastic player. Not too much on the physical side, but technical and mental. Too, truly a fantastic player. So he's going to be a luxury substitute that we are going to use a lot. But now let's get this started. Let's go to Rome. All of our boys are ready to go. Not Dinish, unfortunately. We have to take off Dinish and put Zephyrin. If he can play, he can. He's a little bit jaded, but he can. So now, let's send the team. And let's hope we can get a very good result here in Rome. The draw is not bad, but I'm aiming for the win. That's why I'm not changing my tactic. Karnaschecki, Zanotti, Lovato. Le Normand, Trippier, Brian Cristante, Pellegrini, Eduardo Bov, Jeremy Doku, Zalemski and Timmy Abraham. Very good team. Very good team indeed. So I hope I didn't underestim underestimate the, the room and we are not getting blowed out here today. We'll see. And first ball is to Rome. Now we recovered it. But we throw them away, throw it away. Right. Oh, nice recovery by Baixo Henrique. Marcelinardo. Marcelinardo, what a shot just wide of the goal. What a shot there by Marcelinardo. Okay, and next highlight is ours. Hopefully. Good play, boys. Good play. João Rego. It's easy for them to clear. Ooh, nice pressure. Oh, almost we got that ball. Now, let's not let them hit on the counter. Nice, Robert Renan stepping up there and getting the ball. Mora, nice play, nice turn. What a goal by Mora. What a goal by Mora. What a play. Nice turn there. And that was a nice bet to play my cards on Mora. Good man, what a turn there, Moran had. Putting this away and giving us the lead. Excellent. Putting us in the fourth place temporarily. Oof, almost Robert Renan there with a very lobby shot. Lobby header. But we are playing well, man. I like it. Bergval, nice play, nice play, what a pass, come on square it, Ooh, okay, Mora, still a little bit young, but nice play, nice, Ooh, that deflection, that deflection was very good to them, Ooh, Antonio Silva, just over the bar. We are playing truly well, man. Let's get not cut. Let's not get cut off guard. 
like we did in one of the first matches of this season against Porto where we played very very well and then and he, uh, ending up conceding the draw at the end of the game after missing some clear cut ch chances let's try to score the second and put this away well it's, we still have a lot of time to, to play so we don't know okay but we are playing well I like what I see we are controlling very well the ball. Ooh, Marcelino goes offside and he missed it, nevertheless. Okay, let's praise the boys. Another corner to us. Robert Renan hitting the crossbar on the way out. Come on, let's hope we don't regret so missed chances here. Okay, am I going to do anything at half time? We are playing so well that I don't think so. Let's keep the same team and then do something at the hour mark. Oh, here comes Roma. Oh. Now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. And I should be, yeah. Roma scores. God damn it. On their first shot on target, of course they have. Oh, of course they have scored on the first shot on target with the deflection. So Trubin is not to blame this time around. But, yeah, we still cannot get good luck in this game, man. Well, we had a little bit of luck against Manchester City, to be honest. But we play so well in the first half, man, that it hurts seeing this. And now Roma comes again. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, game. Ooh, ba ba ba! Nice! They missed. But that was an awful mistake, Barba. Let's encourage the ba the lads now. That was an awful mistake, Barba, man. Come on, let's do some substitutions. Murad is not having a good game. And Antonio Silva is not having a good game as well. So Vitic, who is a danger in the set pieces. And Shalderup for Murad. Okay, let's confirm the changes and let's hope we can do something here. I want this victory, man. I know we can grab this victory. Okay, minute 70. And João Rego. Yeah, let's take off Bergval. And João Rego. Drop. Toprak is developing very nicely, so I do trust Tro Toprak to, to, to try to do something. And come on, come on, boys. Let's get the second goal now. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, uh, that was bad, Toprak, to be honest with you. Ugh. What a sour result here, man. Let's encourage the boys. Mora is very tired. Ba as well. But I'm going to put Colombini, probably one of his last matches. Ooh, Roma. Okay, okay, we can hit him on a counter. Come on, Mora, you are tired, I know. Nice pass. Come on. What a goal by Toprak. Yes. What a goal by Toprak. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. Woo. Let's drop our wing backs to support. And let's be balanced. Let's time waste. 
let's do this let's take this off and drop our lines like so we should be safer doing this and we can continue okay four minutes to minute 90 plus at a time so we have to try to hold now Roma let's praise the boys in the meantime as you reach minute 90 five minutes of added time not something that we like to see but okay come on in this game another yellow to bar still but okay we ended the game we got to win cool man cool that was something special man and a very well deserved one to be fair look at this okay good let's praise the boys well done let's and that put us into sixth place okay not bad we are still in an automatic spot so if we can win the games that we are left to play we got this guaranteed this automatic spot for the first time in our career and the games that are left is against Girona at home and against Feyenoord at home so we have good shots to to do that very good chances but now we have to play Braga in our home ground so it's going to be tough always a tough game but in front of our fans I'm feeling pretty secure that we can achieve a very very good uh, um, a good result there but I'm going to do a cut here and I'll be back for the Braga game and here we are in the last game of today's episode and it's against Braga we've got João Vloz picking up a knock in training yesterday the day before this game so he should be yeah not available for playing well it is available to be fair but I don't want to aggravate his injury so let's take him off even from the bench we've got good options like Tiago Freitas to put in the bench and still get some good quality here and the rest of the team is all set so let's go let's submit the team and let's beat Braga here and still keep the same distance to Football Club do Porto here in the league Dalberg, Vitor Gomes, Moquinho, Salcedo, Tavares, Lirola, Quani, Moder, Leonardo Leo, Abel Ruiz and Radio Pan. A little bit different this Braga team that we are usually playing against, but I'm sure they are still good players. Of course, not as good as our players, but still good players. But let's transform that favoritism that we got on paper into reality. Ooh, that was a good, good interception there. But Barco with a very nice interception as well. Bergval losing two times the ball in a row. Not what we want to see at all. Junev is a little bit more controlled in that, in those terms. This is, has been a very strange highlight with numerous uh, loss of possessions here. Nice played. Oh, that was very hopeful. Jorrego. Okay. Over the crossbar. And, okay, still the, the highlight is raging on, I see, from the goalkeeper. Go kick. Not goal keep. Barco. Ooh, that was good. Okay. Protect, protect, protect the defense here. Nice. I feel wish. Ooh, but the ball came to a bell. Wish! Who scores? Who scores? Oh, come on, man. Let's demand more. Still, we have a lot to play, but. Trailing behind is not good, man. Never a good sign here. And to be fair, they got one more shot than us. 
And now Abel Ruiz is injured. Now, after scoring the goal. Okay. Come on, boys. Let's get this result, please. Nicely played, at least. Ooh, Marsh Leonard with that header. What a miss, man. He had everything to to score the goal there, and what a miss by Marc Linard. Come on, we can still do this. Oh, that was a nice deflection. Puntus Dolber was beaten there. Okay, let's encourage the lads. Come on, man. Let's get to equalize it before half time, please. Mm. Too many legs on the way. It's curious that I don't see that from our end when they attack us. I don't usually see that much legs on the way as our opponents. Hmm. Maybe because we are more attacking minded. That must be it. Nice, 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 Marsh Leonard. Ooh, what a save by Dahlberg. Come on, Marsh Leonard, you have to do better than that, man. You have such good finishing, such good composure, and still you struggle a lot to score goals, man. Don't understand why this, this, this struggle, this constant struggle that Marsh Leonard has score some goals come on boys don't do this to me let's some get some more chances here let's get this ball first good pressure 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 that's our ball forward. Nice, Juan Reig, what a turn. Leaving two opponents behind. Nice, Bunaida. Cross, cross, cross. Cross. And yes! Bergval. Yes! Getting the equalizer just before half time. Excellent, man. Excellent. Good. That was a nice play from Juan Reig and Bunaida with nice turns. Dropping their opponents right from the moment they first touch the ball. Okay, can we score a second before half time? Can we do it? Yes, we can. An on goal? No, it's Marcos Leonardo goal. Okay, with an open net, it would be scandalous if he would miss this. But okay, we turned this around, we came back, and now we are leading 2 1. Heading to a half time, which is excellent. So, at half time, I'm going to do one substitution only, and it's going to be Morin for Thiago Veia. Why not? Thiago Veia needs some playing time. And we give, we'll get some more minutes to Moreira on the left side. Which is his best position, pretty sure. Okay, let's praise the boys. I would like very much so a third goal to put uh, our advantage on two goal difference. Our wing backs are playing well, they are tired but playing well. So I'm going to take off Jean Rigo. And then to do two substitutions only at minute 70. Okay, here comes a highlight. Let's win this header. Good.
Ooh, what a shot by Marco hitting the crossbar. Again, over 3 XG and only scoring 2 goal. Okay, let's do now 2 substitutions and... Hmm. Let's take off Barco for Colombini. And Rafael Luis, no. Because Rafael Luis is a substitute, so we don't need to save him for um, fitness issues. So let's do Moreira for Shadarup. And then we'll do probably Ba for Vitik or something like that. In this header. Nice. Oof. That was a tough pass from Ba. Nice pass, man. And Thiago Veia scores. Our third. What a pass there by Shalarup to Thiago Veia. And now we have this game in the back. And it's a goal for sure. Yep. I was pretty com feeling pretty confident with that position there from Thiago Veia. So now let's drop to positive. Let's replace Ba for Vitik. Let's drop our wing backs. Like so. And let's take off this get stuck in option. Try to save some yellow cards in the process. And or injuries, of course. Let's praise the boys. Another highlight, probably the last one of the day. Nice pass. And Marcos Leonardo, don't miss this time with a sneaky cheek, a cheeky, a cheeky chip here. What a sauce, very saucy. What a pass by Bergvall. And what a saucy chip there by Marcos Leonardo scoring his second. Getting a brace. Okay. And Lucas Berg Bergvall getting the man of the match. Good man. Very good. So let's praise the boys. Very good win here. 4-1 against Braga. The results look lo like more comfortable than the match itself. We were trailing 1-0. Yeah. Sporting Blue... Alverca out of the water with a 3-0 um, win. And now we have 5 points. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We have 5, point, five points to our fierce rivals, Porto do Porto. But this was the last match of this episode. And next time around, we are going to play Porto, away from home, for the Taça de Portugal. Oof. We did draw Porto in the Tasset Portugal, I never saw that. But we are going to play them. Then Sporting, right after. Three days after. So, yeah. Two big games here. And then heading to the game against Girona in our ground. So, that's the plan for the next episode. In the meantime, I'm going to do Murenense and Aroca off-camera. And we'll start the next episode against Futebol Clube do Porto for the Taça de Portugal, the Portuguese Cup. But that's going to be for the next time because this episode is done. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and leave me some comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Titlar. I hope to see you next time for those two very important games. One to in Taça de Portugal. One in the league and the other one for the Champions League. Bye bye and take care. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Also, read the description below.
where you will find ton of useful information and links regarding the contents of this video.